next when talk about the positioning element what is the positioning element the positioning element is nothing when it is possible to move an item from its regular position to normal flow right just now we moved right from regular to normal position next even move an item outside of the browser viewport what is the meaning of that that means when you are defining some the content and it's going to out of viewport that means the visible area that means it is not visible or to the position it to always visible in fixed position and while the rest of the content are scroll that means when you are scrolling so you will be have you have seen that right scrolling features so i have so many content okay so many lines i have written here even inside this so you will be having one scroll bar here right so when you scroll down then only you will be able to see the remaining content so what happen the content is outside of the viewport right so it is not visible or it is positioned such a way that it's always a fixed position and the rest are you can scroll and you can able to see this one right the position property is used to specify the type of positioning that means what type of positioning you want okay then next the possible values when you are going to define that should be left right top and bottom properties these properties will be used to indicate the distance of the element when you move that means from one place to another right so this one will be indicate and the element will be move the effect of these properties varies that means it's going to vary depending on the positioning property that means how you are defining the property on that property it will define so this is actually your positioning element that means you are going to change the position right where you want to move the element right from one distance so whatever so whenever you are going to move obviously you are going to move left or you are going to move from top to bottom and you or you will move to this place from viewport whichever you want right so that is actually your positioning element when you are going to move that is the positioning element there are certain positions values are there okay then this one like it will be absolute then you have fixed you have relative okay then you have static this four category the four value you can use when you are going to positioning the element what is the absolute the element is removed from normal flow and positioned to the relation to its nearest position right so that means you can change the position to the nearest when you want to define such a way when next when you make it fixed right so what is meaning of it's very simple meaning fixed that means it is going to be fixed the, when the document is going to scroll then only you will be able to see the element otherwise it cannot next relative the element is moved to relative where it would be in the normal flow it relative means it will be generally in normal flow and a static the element is positioned according to the normal flow and by default this static will be there so you can change the accordingly whenever you want you can change this also like this you can positioned here next talk about the relative position okay then how this relative position will be there when the element is displayed out of the normal flow position right just now we saw that sometimes it can be 
uh, it will be moved out the with the viewport right with the normal position the element is displayed out of the normal flow position and it's moved to the relative where it would have been displayed okay when an element is positioned relatively it is display out of normal flow position and moved relative where it would have been placed that means when you are defined like you have seen that right just now when we are using normal flow position and you have moved the element right then what happen it will be that you are going to move it and you are going to display this so you can do that one with the relative positioning the original space for the position position that like you can use in the figure right i have shown you that when you are going to use the image then the image will be like i have a photograph right take example this is the photograph and this is my html idea i want this image to be appear from the right hand side then how you can this relative position can be fixed this relative position can be fixed with the help of relative right so you have to use here by default like figure element and this figure element will define you for the using the positioning element and you can reset into the document flow also next as we seen that we have absolute positioning absolute means obviously it is going to be positioned absolutely that means it is removed completely from normal flow okay and unlike like relative position the space is not left or moved element and it's no longer in normal flow so the moment you define the absolute positioning so it will not consider in normal flow and the position will moved in the relation to its container block so whatever the container you define accordingly it is going to be fixed absolute means fixed so it will fix accordingly the moved element via absolute position is actually position relative to the nearest position that means when you define as i said the container block right so the nearest position what you have defined for the particular container it accordingly it is going to accept it you can see here in the diagram right so how the absolute position are there right so the absolute position is related to the nearest position ancestor right i have used the figure and you can see one figure is here i want this figure to be moved right from and the content should be appear even the image should come between that okay you can see here the image is there before that some content is there again after the content is there this way when you want that means this is not in now normal flow you have defined the absolute position for the this particular image so it has moved right that is actually your absolute positioning 